Um, I never get to visit the projects after the fact, but I oftentimes identify people in the countries where I visited who were to, to do the projects. But I'm, I'm always receptive to ideas, and, and I have a pretty rigorous, uh, because I'm such a um, uh, control freak, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm called. Um, I, I do a lot of due diligence to make sure the organizations that I'm getting to are on the up and up. And, and there was an organization, for example, that we, we did a project for uh, education in Nigeria. And anybody who has email knows about all the Nigerian scams. And so I was, I, I waited until they had a non-profit arm in the U.S. that was 501c3 tax exempt under the Internal Revenue Service Code before I would give them money. So I wasn't actually giving money to Nigeria. I was giving money to a U.S. NGO, and therefore there's greater controls on, on what happens. But knock on wood, there's you know, never been a problem on one of the projects going belly up. Thank you so much Thank for listening. You.